Before we get into today's video, please consider heading over to www.patreon.com forward slash CAEV, it will be at the bottom of the screen, and consider becoming a patron. I have recently lost my job, so any and all donations and contributions help towards keeping the channel active and the lights on. So please consider heading over there, and I will see you all in the video. What's up everybody out there, this video isn't going to be the most in-depth or the most critical analysis of anything to do with this case not this time I don't really have the time today so I'm going to just basically go over this picture that Amber Heard has tried to present in court as evidence of Johnny Depp's drug abuse and well abuse of her and it's some it's one of the most hilarious things I have ever seen you'll see why in a second but I want to take a look at this one first she'll sit there and present this as evidence of him being passed out after a coke binge now if anyone here has taken that substance they know for a fact you would not be able to pass out after something like that it it goes against everything the drug is designed to do now it it could be on a downers as well I don't know why would you'd insist on taking uppers and downers at the same time they're completely they're completely opposite of what you would want to achieve from the said uppers but there we go she's presenting this as he passed out after a drug coke binge but in my opinion as someone who regularly takes solace in basically my own little comfort zone this looks like that to me someone who has been abused so much he's taken solace in a comfort zone but again that's just my own subjective opinion some people might some other people might have some different view on the matter but I'm going to be going after this. Basically, you can't see it on the screen, so I'll uh, come off it for now for the tweet. Mike Sington, I don't know who he is. Uh, he's a senior executive at NBC Universal, Hollywood's ultimate insider. So he's basically a celebrity expert, if you believe that's such a thing. But that's what he says. Amber Heard show photos of whiskey, uh, oh, sorry, of Johnny Depp's lunch. Whiskey and four lines of coke are then passed out on the floor. What really gets me is, as someone who's a big rum drinker, I'll drink rum to my heart's content because it doesn't really have an effect on me. This whiskey that's in a pint glass is carbonated. Whiskey is not carbonated. Not at all. You can see the suds. I, I'll try and zoom in for you guys no it's not going to allow it but here if you look in the glass you can see it's frosted and right here if you can see the outline that's bubbles where it's been carbonated now oh there we go that actually helps here if you can see they're right there that shows carbonated well whiskey for a fact is not carbonated we know that because it would be uh, what am I looking for here I'm looking to come out of full screen there we go and zoom out so everyone can see what I'm trying to get at but they'll sit there and say she's going to sit here that does not look like cocaine as someone who's taken my fair share of the fair share of it it's not cocaine who was uh, in my opinion who's going to sit there and put all this out so neatly and pass out no one this picture is Instagram worthy but what most people are picking up on is the fact that this right here the decanter that is so uh, pro uh, apparently Johnny Depp's isn't it's Amber Heard's the fact that she has that and the fact that the driver's license here that I do believe is Californian shows us that it's not actually Johnny Depp's because Johnny Depp doesn't have a Californian driver's license I think he has a Texan driver's license I don't know the difference because obviously I'm a Brit we have one driver's license that covers the whole of the UK I don't know what's the difference between a each individual state's driver's license I don't know whether you can drive in other states with that license I don't know as I said I'm a Brit but this part gets me as well why is he going to sit there and do this sort of thing with a, a California driver's license 
leave four lines of the substance neatly put before going to pass out. Why would he drink whiskey in a pint glass and then leave it there? And most people have picked up on this as well. The thing that's marked paraphernalia, that's a tampon applicator. Presumably coming from this thing right here. Her purse. This picture is way too neat to be somewhat from someone who's on a afternoon drug binge. It looks like it's a picture directly, directly taken for, for obviously um, Instagram or something like that. And the fact that they'll sit there, Depp branded drug box. That is not a drug box. That is a place where you put your rollies. If you mass make rollies, not just one at a time, when you want one and you mass make them and you basically roll yourself a bunch of cigarettes, like Johnny Depp does, you put them in here to basically keep the tobacco moist and tobacco wet so it doesn't dry out and give you such a nasty cough, which will obviously increase your chances of cancer and that sort of thing. You keep it in a drug, uh, in a cigarette box like this to uh, obviously keep them fresh is the word I'm looking for. I know that for a fact because my stepdad smokes tobacco and he does exactly the same. He has his own personal cigarette box similar to that obviously not like this but it's similar in dimension to obviously the size of a uh, we call, uh, Rizzler basically a cigarette paper that you put your tobacco in and make cigarettes with I'm not sure why this has anything to do with it but it's a Keith Richards CD now, Johnny Depp has said this multiple times, that he does like Keith Richards, and he sees him as a friend, but if you're going to be sat there on a drug binge, aren't you surely going to be, obviously, listening to the music while you're doing it? But the thing is, what I have noticed while I've just been doing this is the fact that the table is set up for two. There's two glasses for two drinks, there's two places set, and there's another seat with the LA Times. Is that the LA Times? I don't know, New York Times or something like that. It's, it's something Times, I can see that much, but if you're going to sit there and do a drug binge and pass out, why are you going to set up a table for two people to sit and probably have a conversation with? What most people are finding uh, showing in the comments is the fact that it looks too neat to be anything of that. Oh, uh, but, but even if even what Count Dankula goes, quirky Hollywood actor does coke and drinks a lot, and that's a huge revelation apparently. But the thing is, as people were pointing out in this comment section, if he's that passed out and that concerned, why is she not? concerned about her husband. I mean everything here and apparently we have another picture uh, where it shows another thing there right there as this person point out yet yeah, this photo is different without Johnny's little box. Uh, photos d uh, does show whose leg is this basically it's not Johnny Depp's leg it does not look like Johnny Depp's leg to me. His knee is, or his leg is a lot wider. The thing is, if you're going to take a picture, why do it? It's just, it, it <laughs> someone's mopped it. <laughs> uh, big Pepsi fire. <laughs> oh, it's funny. People are mocking this to all high heaven because they know it's just not is yeah basically it's the same thing as this someone sets up something like that just so they they can get attention from people online now as i said this video is not going to be in-depth analysis or anything like that i've just noticed a few things that apparently a lot of other people have noticed that kind of throws into question just how valid this picture is the fact that the cocaine does not look like cocaine, it's too granulated to be cocaine. 
cocaine is a lot finer than that. The drug paraphernalia is a tampon applicator from a woman which is most likely in a purse which is right next to the paraphernalia. The whiskey is in fact not whiskey but actually in my opinion looks like carbonated apple juice. I like carbonated apple juice hence why I know what it looks like. It's very nice. The bubbles. I like the bubbles but that's either here nor there. And the cigarette box with a te uh, sorry with a Californian driver's license, as people have pointed out, that it's does. And as some this person here, Murdy Deej, says the lines of coke are still there, so he didn't do this, or this is staged. And did you notice the coke straw is a plunger from a tampon, and not only is the coke still there, but the whiskey is untouched as well. This is totally staged. Everyone is agreeing that this vid this picture is staged. Almost like she knew it would come to this sort of thing, so she prepared for it because people do not believe her. And I'm glad people don't believe her. But anyway, I just thought I'd give my opinion on this picture. Leave leave the comments down below what you think about this about this whole picture. About the point uh, about what people are pointing out and stuff like that. I'll include a link to it in the description down below, so obviously you can go and have a look for yourself, but I just thought it interesting that the staged photo, because this is clearly staged, you can see that, does not show what she's hoping it shows. It actually shows the opposite, that he isn't doing all those drugs and all this, and it going on a bender and passing out. Because if someone was going to be on a bender, they would not pass out, especially after that. Especially with someone who has been doing drugs all his life. Co four lines of cocaine would not be enough to knock someone out. In fact, four lines of cocaine, in my opinion, is enough to keep someone awake all night. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Obviously, head to the link on the screen and in the description box. And consider becoming a patron to keep the channel on track. And I will include a pit in the pin tweet my PayPal. So obviously, if you want to help the channel out, please do so there. I will see everybody in the next video. Bye for now.